This video is going to be on internal bleaching. Sometimes patients show up at our office and they have a dark front tooth. And it's not because they have a calcified canal, but instead they just have a root canal system that is inside their tooth that has uh, become necrotic or is dead. And it needs to be cleaned out. And when that happens, we can also bleach the tooth from inside out. So I'm going to go through the process of how that happens. Uh, so this is just kind of a photo showing in general how this kind of in summary works out. Tooth has uh, this dark, darkish look to it. It needs a root canal. Root canal is done. Bleaching material is put inside the internal part of the tooth and the tooth becomes brighter. This is kind of the open hole that the bleaching stuff is put in. So let me just kind of go through step by step that entire process. So you have your basic tooth and let's just say it needs, needs a root canal. Um, what happens is the inside of that root canal system gets completely cleaned out and then we put gutta percha, it's that uh, orange kind of rubbery material that kind of corks off the tooth, it goes all the way up to the root tip and kind of uh, seals it off up there. And then over the top of that, we're going to place what's called a base material. It's just kind of a, a blocking agent so that the bleach doesn't travel up the root. It kind of helps seal off the tooth. And this is what it kind of looks like clinically inside. If you were to look inside the hole of the tooth created for the root canal, you'd see that the entire pulp chamber has been cleaned out. And right here, there's a little bit of a base material placed on top of that orange gutta percha. We then put bleaching pellets inside. This is going to be sodium perborate. Uh, we kind of smash it up and try to make those pellets into small little pellets. Sometimes it comes in a paste, uh, but that is put on the inside of the tooth. And then a temporary filling is put over that bleach so it kind of stays in place. At that point, the patient leaves. They leave with the bleach in place, those little pellets. That's what they leave. We seal them in there with the temporary material, and they're going to go away for about a week, and then they will come back. At that point, when they arrive, hopefully the a temporary material is still in place, holding the bleach material in. We take off that temporary material. We get rid of the um, old uh, bleaching pellets that were in there. We put in fresh bleaching pellets, cover it back up again with the temporary material. The patient again leaves with the bleach in place and they're going to come back in about a week, at which point we then you know take off the temporary filling. We go ahead and remove the old uh, bleaching pellets and now we have the cleaned out inside hole of the tooth basically. And then we just put our temporary, comp or sorry, put our final uh, composite filling in place. So again, in summary, uh, these are the steps we go from here to here to get the final result for the patient. This is what it kind of looks like on an x-ray. You can see a root canal that's filled up. You see the base materials being put in, and then the final composite is in place. To kind of go through in summary, again, the appointments are the following. Appointment number one, we do the root canal, unless, of course, the root canal has already been done uh, previously. We're going to reduce the height of the gutta percha, place a base material on top of that, place the bleaching pellets and co cover with a temporary material. Appointment number two, one week later, approximately one week later, remove the temporary filling, uh, the bleaching pellets, place in new bleaching material, cover it up with temp material. And they go away and then one week later again appointment number three hopefully that'll be the final one we're going to remove the temporary filling uh, the bleaching pellets and then place our lingual composite if the tooth is pretty dark or needs another round uh, then they can go with another round of bleach it's very rare they would go three round or more than three rounds with bleach but it is possible if necessary uh, but usually this one to two bleaching cycles works just fine so the codes that are going to be unique to this procedure is going to be the internal bleaching code and that's going to be per tooth that's d9974 and then the resin one surface anterior filling typically a lingual filling that will be placed on the back of that tooth is just your typical d2330 and that should be the end of how a whole root canal uh, that's um, or a tooth that has had a root canal that needs bleaching uh, process works all right thank you